I'll be relaying orders to you from now on. Estevakia's remaining forces are starting to gather near Moloch Desert in East Ania. They're combining all of their forces in an attempt to stop us from recapturing Grace Maria. This operation will involve a very intense siege battle. Once the enemy's line of defense is ruined, chase them down. If you let them escape, they're going to fortify their defenses around Grace Maria. I know you must be chomping at the bit to get going, but taking out the enemy here pretty much guarantees us victory. We'll make it back to Grace Maria alive. All of us. Engage. Talisman, which, how about my weaponry? Are we ready to fly with these planes? Garuda team, time to take off.
safety line on the west side of the airspace. Pull out of combat and get back to base whenever you need supplies. Enemy unit approaching. It's an armed LCAC, a hovercraft unit. Sound the charge. Our bomber unit is down to 40%. My white wing is damaged. An engine one is dead. I can't keep her up much longer. I never thought such a large plane could be so useless. What a piece of crap. The armored LCAC unit just split off into two groups. Tricky SOBs. This is very important cargo. Don't get shot down
emergency report for all units. Our ground forces in the south are down to 20%. Don't give up, Hope. We got a fight to the end. Boy, check the situation at Sector L4. And make sure all
Marines are down! Now I can finally get back to Grace Maria! You've made a huge mistake. There's no getting around a penalty for this. According to intelligence from our Department of National Safety, Estovakia has a scorched earth policy in mind for Grace Mary. They plan to use weapons of mass destruction to completely and indiscriminately annihilate our capital city. If we keep advancing at this pace, the Estovakians are sure to destroy our capital. The Joint Chiefs of Staff have ordered us to temporarily halt the advance of all forces. This order is part of a high-level strategy. This temporary order of ceasefire was an unavoidable action for the Joint Chiefs of Staff. As Amerians, we cannot excuse this outrageous and inhuman threat posed by Estovakia. By continuing on with the mission, you have defied a direct order and will be suspended for it. You are forbidden from flying in battle starting from 1600 hours today, and all combat mission qualifications will be revoked. Any action beyond going to your own barracks from that time on will be strictly limited. I've lost a lot of respect for you after pulling this stunt. Return to your barracks and wait for further instructions. That is all. With the smile of their golden king wiped away for good, and the ground war nearly upon us, the citizens here are losing faith. Through special intelligence, we confirmed the existence of the enemy ace pilot, Garuda One. It seems he has fallen into some kind of predicament within his own ranks. His fiercest rival, Lieutenant Commander Pasternak, is naturally worried about the possibility of Garuda One losing his position. After lecturing Pasternak to hold on to his baggage, I feel like a damned hypocrite. Undergarments and trousers can be replaced, but I cannot afford to lose the contents of that briefcase. Three children have turned this rotting underground passage into a hideout. I guess that explains how they eluded security forces during the sweep. I've already seen the notification. Today, in this very area, the initial demolition for the Grace Maria fortification construction is to be carried out. The tremors have triggered an ancient trapdoor, unused for some 600 years. And now, we have lost our way out of here. 